Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Joseption, and as you can see, I'm back here in Minecraft doing another um, how-to. That's what it is, not Let's Build, sorry. I keep getting those mixed up because of... Because I watch Corrales and, uh, and the Neocubus, and I just... I get mixed up, but... Anyways, so as you can see, this looks like a little, um... A little shack, kind of, but there's a trapdoor here, which leads down to somewhere special, which I will show you in just a second, and, um... But really what this is, is a uh, simple underground house. Uh, I guess you could say it's mostly for survival because it's not exactly that large of a space. But it's it's very cozy and it has all the things you need just for survival. So yeah, I've already got a little thing started over there which I will explain after I show you this. So you come in here, it's like a little overhang just to protect from rain and monsters whatnot. And you come down this ladder, got some you know glowstone, you don't have to put glowstone obviously. But you come down here, got a little chest storage area, um, brewing, you know, cauldrons, all that neat stuff. Come down a step, you got another wart farm, some more storage with an anvil up there. You got your, like your kitchen kind of thing right here with six furnaces, crafting table. And if you come up here, you have your own like little personal sleeping area, I guess. And really, you can make this anything. You can make anything in here different. You don't have to put anything. You can just build this for um, a role-playing server, you know, RPG server, anything really. But yeah, so that's basically uh, the gist of the simple underground survival house. So I guess let's go ahead and get to building it. Alright, so as you can see, um, there's it's just a simple square. So you want to take your oak logs and put one and then count one, two, three, and then put another one and do that all around. And you just want to fill in with oak planks and actually you'll want to fill in this entire thing and then put a hole in the middle which is where your trap door will go which is actually what I forgot to grab so the ladder is going to be going down this way alright and then so on top of each uh, oak log that you put you want to put one stair as you can see and then to start off the roof you just want to put one slab and so on this part you have to watch kind of closely because it's a little tricky but so you'll put a slab and then do that and then obviously break this and then basically make a, um, a V shape you see it like that a V shape or a corner whatever and then you just do that on every single uh, corner you have here so that way it starts um, it'll get the arch started for the entire roof so that way you don't have like some boring old flat roof or whatever. Alright, so now we just have these two lines. And all you're going to do is do that same thing. And then just take these through. Not like that. There you go. Just like this. And there we go. That's the roof. I'll just kind of go ahead and do this. As you can see, it forms a square. If you want to, you could put one on top just to kind of make it look, um, I don't know, pointy. But yeah, then you'll just simply take your stairs and put it all around, except for where your entrance is. And I mean, you don't have to put stairs, or not stairs, sorry, uh, fence if you don't want to. But yeah, so then you're going to come in here, and I'm going to go about 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blocks down. Yeah, that should do it. So fifteen blocks down, and then the next thing you want to do is take your oak uh, planks and just fill in this entire tunnel all the way down to the bottom. Which obviously after that you'll start carving out the uh, inside. But yeah, so just do this all the way down, and then you can go ahead and put your ladders down too just like this but I probably shouldn't put it over the dirt but yeah so you go ahead and put the oak planks all the way down and then take your uh, ladders and put it all the way down there too so that way you have some way to get to the bottom without dying but yeah so I will be right back whenever I finish this tunnel looking thingy bigger Alright guys, I'm back and I went ahead and finished the tunnel thingy and carved out the first little room and put a little light source right here if you guys want to take a look at that just simple torch in the wall. But yeah, so you come down here which is 15 blocks. Um, you'll want to 
from the block that you made, you want to go three out, well, two out technically. So you'll have this block that you're standing on, second block, and a third block. And then from here, you want to go three out that way and three blocks out that way. So the room will be three blocks away from the ladder on either side, three blocks high, and it will come three blocks out from the ladder just like that. And I'll actually go ahead and do this here so you guys can kind of see that. It's just three. But yeah, so this is the uh, first room, which is kind of like the foyer, I guess you can call it. But um, what you're going to want to do is make the all the walls and ceiling oak planks and then just fill in the floor with stone bricks just like I have done here and so yeah once again I will be right back when I finish the walls ceiling and the floor alright guys so I'm back once again and I finished carving out we're well, not carving out the room um I finished filling in the walls and the ceiling as you can see and if you look over here I made a, um, a hole in the wall basically which is you know one block away from this wall and what you're gonna want to do is basically copy this so it's six blocks one two three four five six just like that and on either side you want to turn these into oak logs or any type of log of your choice and then once you do that I've already done it but you uh, take stone bricks and you'll want to put stairs right here because this will lead down into the main room and just really quick, I'm going to carve out this area here. I've already got stone bricks down here. So what you're going to want to do is just follow what I'm doing kind of. Just kind of make a small little thing here like this. So on this log, you're going to want to go one in. And keep this the same height as this roof. So once you go one in from this log, from the wall it will come out one two three four let me go ahead and get a torch down so once again this log you go one in and then from here it's gonna be one two three and four out and what we're actually gonna do is four and then it will go from here and then seven blocks down which should be to about like right here then no, no, right here something like that yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and basically carve out this room too. So then we can go ahead and get on with like the uh, furnishing and stuff like that. Building the bed area and chests, whatnot, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll be right back whenever I carve out this room. Alright guys, so I'm back once again. And I've carved out this room. So as you can see from this log, you go one in and it's one, two, three, four by one two three four five six seven yeah so once you carve out that obviously fill in all the walls with wood and then I put some slabs just like this in between the two logs and then here's where it gets a little tricky um, the reason why I left this is because we're actually gonna go one up for the entire roof don't mind that we're gonna take this one up and then the roof inside of here, or the ceiling, my bad, will be slabs. So that means you have to take everything up by one more block, just like this. And I'm going to, I won't do this off camera because this is, you know, pretty quick. It's just a simple lining around the room. But yeah, so once you finish that, you'll take your oak slabs and then just cover the entire roof in it. And the reason why we're doing this is because the um, the bed area, which will be kind of the loft up here, requires the ceiling to be one slap higher so that your head isn't touching the ceiling when you're just simply walking up there. So yeah. So now that we have all this done, we can go ahead and start furnishing, which means I will start in here. Let me just get rid of some of these things here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some chests and let's get yeah let's just get some chests place six just like that and then grab a pot and you know what how about a fern because ferns are nice so you put that down just like that and I'm also gonna grab a painting because paintings are also nice not well then okay can I get there's a certain one that's really nice. Hold up. 
Actually, that works. I haven't um haven't got one like that in a while. And I'm also gonna take a glass pane and put it right here. It's in the middle, just like that against the wall, so that when you're down here next to your furnaces, which will be right there, you can look out the uh, window and look at people's feet. But yeah, so speaking of furnaces, let's go ahead and grab those and put them in the wall right here. And don't worry, these will be covered by the slabs. But yes, and then let's grab a crafting table, put that right here. And I'm also going to grab another pot. I'll just go over here and grab it like that. Okay, whatever, give me the ferns. And then shift click that down right there. Don't have to shift click the plant. And then there we go. Now what you're going to want to do is bring this in one because the ladders will go inside of here and change this to a log just like that. So now you have like your little kitchen area right here. And then obviously I'm going to grab my stone bricks and fill that in right there. And then just bring up the oak wood planks so that we are level up here and up here in the loft the roof will be just a tad bit higher so you can go ahead and take off these slabs all the way to where you get to here so only this section which is three by one two three four three by four will be like having no slabs go ahead and fill in the oak planks up here into the wall just like that so now all the walls and ceiling are still wood and then I'm gonna place my two ladders and then now you'll get your planks or not your planks your uh, oak wood slabs and fill that in just like that and there we go obviously you can't get in from up there yes and then I'm gonna change this to a stair just because that looks nice so now we don't need these anymore I'm gonna come up here and let's start off by placing the trapdoor, which obviously you don't have to have, but I put it there just to keep things out, I guess. Um, I'll go ahead and place some glass panes just like this. And we're going to keep that one right there. Just like that. And so now that we have basically the general layout right here, take this up by one. Just like that. And then let me put a torch down. Fill in with oak planks. And don't worry about the ceiling because we're going to put slabs in here. And now once you have this, take your slabs. Fill in here just like that. And there we go. As you can see, we have the little loft area done. This is the roof inside of there. This is, you know, the regular blocks. And then when you come in here and build one up, you put your slabs and it makes kind of like a stair looking thing right here so now I'm just gonna grab a bed and some carpet uh, this time I'm gonna go with green carpet just because it's got a survival feel to it and shift click and there we go now we have the bed area done so we can go ahead and move on to let's start with the uh, the nether war farm and the chests up there so, what you're going to want to do is break out this right here, just like that, which will be where the nether wart farm is. Break out one more block here. Don't know why those are there. And then go ahead and grab your soul sand because you need soul sand to plant nether warts. And there's nether warts. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put all this down. And I'm actually going to cover it up with a trap door just like this and there you go so as you can see let's um, fill in this wall with oak planks so that it's not a dirt house instead of wood grab some stairs put them upside down right here just like that and then uh, let's go ahead and take this out and fill it in with glowstone because you'll need a, some kind of light source in here so there we go just like that and fill in the other warts that looks nice so what I'm gonna do is 
Oh wait, whoops. I'm sorry guys. This one pillar block right here, take this out. Just like that. This is actually gonna be um, a log. And break that, put that in there. There we go. That will be a log right there. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to uh, kind of mess up there. So now that we have the soul sand down and all of this, we can get that out of there. Kind of grab chests again and put one chest here, another one there, and then grab a anvil. Boom, just like that. And I guess you can go ahead and put slabs like that. Yep, that looks nice. So I get rid of this stuff. And let's see here. How about a carpet? Forgot about that. And down here, I will actually do red. So just put down a red carpet. All right, so now we have the main room done. It looks great. Wait, we forgot the most important part. Okay, now it's done. All right, so if you come over here, we got this area done just like this. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Put that there. All right, now that we have this, what you're gonna wanna do here is break out this part of the wall just like that so it's six blocks on either side and then you'll take this and turn this into oak logs and let's grab our stone bricks fill in those two blocks and leave a hole right here because you'll put both your cauldrons right there take it upside down stair put it like that and then put a slab and you'll want to do that the exact same thing on that side too and that is my mistake, but well, oh Gary, you done goofed up now. Okay, so behind here, go ahead and change these all to planks. Sorry guys, I'm kind of jacking up here. And same up here in the ceiling. All right, so now take your upside down stairs and put that there. And we go ahead into brewing. Grab the cauldrons, just like this. That looks a little funky, but whatever. Grab a water bucket. Fill them in with water. And obviously grab your brewing stands, just like that. And personally, I would rather have this not be empty. So I'm going to grab a pot. And I'm going to get a fern. And might as well grab some torches too. And just kind of put one there. Yep, that looks good to me. And you want to take your slabs, put them across just like that. So now you have your little brewing area. It's nice and cozy over here. You can just kind of pick up some water, go in here and brew some stuff. You know, all that fun. And I'm contemplating putting a carpet gear, but I don't think we really need it, to be honest. But yeah so there we go that's basically the entire thing done and if you really wanted to you could do like what I did and put it actually we don't need that what I did was about right here I just kind of carved out a little hole and then did this putting up down stair and I went ahead and got an armor stand and just plopped one in there because that means you can take your golden armor and when you come back from adventuring and stuff like that just come down put it all on here and now you have something that looks a lot like a person so that when you come down here it will scare the living crap out of you and you'll probably just freak the fuck out and I don't know maybe die I don't know it's just a joke don't worry, it's just a sick prank. Oh. But yeah, so back to being um, more serious, I guess. This is bothering me, I'm sorry guys. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to kind of, you know, put some bow meal down while I'm talking to you guys for the last few minutes of this episode. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, it's really it's a lot of fun doing this guys I really appreciate 
any kind of support that you give me because it just shows me that you like what I'm doing and it helps me to kind of get myself to do more, you know, more for you guys, stuff like that because all your support just motivates me more and more every time and it just helps me keep going, really. So on that note, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already or onto this video, either one, doesn't matter. I appreciate all of it. And uh, I just want to go ahead and say I'm going to start uh, increasing like the um, how frequently I update, not update, upload, sorry, I can't talk at all today because I really want to start doing this more often to um, kind of get used to the uh, people and how YouTube is and all that stuff because after all, I, I did just start not too long ago and I kind of feel bad that I only upload about once or twice per week. So I'm kind of starting to pick up more frequently with my videos and everything I don't know what's going on with the FPS it's being all funky with me it's annoying but before I kinda get into speaking out a whole novel for you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and say you can look forward to more frequent updates and uploads from my channel and also I will be doing videos uh, with t and Cam Demand Gaming just to let you guys know because, you know, obviously we started the forest, which I will be updating soon, so don't worry about that. But yeah, so, basically on a higher note, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video once again. Um, you go ahead and look forward to a new Let's Build really soon, because I already have one in store for you guys. You just don't know it yet. I guess you'll have to find out, so stay tuned. Once again, I hope you guys really enjoyed. I'm Joseption, and I will see you guys in the next one.